Welcome to this week's episode of Go Fish BC on Shaw TV. We're on Roche Lake. Oh, double header. Oh, my God. <laughs> We're on Roche Lake today. It's mid-May. My guest today is Nick Pace. Nick is a co-owner of Trout Water Fly and Tackle in Kelowna. And I wanted to bring Nick up to, to Roche to show him how good the fishery is. Even though it had a winter kill, a partial winter kill a couple of years ago, Roche is back and doing well. What do you got there, Nick? Uh, got uh, one probably from uh, last year. All right, we'll get the net. There we go, he's just waiting for you. Oh, there we go. Beauty. There we go. I'll just, I'll unhook him. Pop him off. So we're gonna catch lots of fish in this size range today, hopefully. And uh, and we're gonna get some bigger fish too. Yeah, there. healthy fish. So I've moved the boat, Nick. Obviously, we're anchored right in the bulrush cattails. So we can see the bottom. We're anchored in six feet of water. You can see all that vegetation behind us. And we're in a huge shoal or flat, which is the grocery store, right? Yeah, absolutely. Lots of food. So we got lots of bugs coming off here. This is where the uh, chronomids or midges are going to emerge. This is where the damselflies live, the dragonflies, mayflies, the shrimp, the leeches. So like, this is the big grocery store. They got to come here and eat. Yeah, I know if I were a fish, I'd come here and eat. Exactly, and that's and so that's why as fly fishers, uh, we spend so much of our time in water that's shallow, generally less than uh, 20 feet in depth, because at that depth range, 20 feet and less, you've got photosynthesis penetrating to the bottom that allows all this green plant growth yeah. to grow, which creates the habitat for the food, the bugs, the insects, the leeches, shrimp, chronomids, everything and the fish are gonna come in. And if we get this guy in, we'll do a, oh, we'll do a throat pump on him and hopefully he'll reveal something. So what, what I've caught here is a, is a panace strain of rainbow trout. So the Freshwater Fish Society of BC stocks uh, this lake annually with triploided panask or non-reproductive panask rainbows. And they're very lightly spotted above the lateral line, the odd spot below. And these are gonna grow. This is a two-year-old fish, stocked last spring, so it made it last winter. And it's gonna grow big. And uh, it's non-reproductive, sterile, so it, it'll never mature. And as a result of the winter kill two winters ago, the society also stocked uh, some catchable-sized Fraser Valley strain of rainbow. And uh, hopefully we'll catch one of those today and show you those, because they'll be quite a bit bigger as well. So I'm just going to do a quick pump on this guy, if I can get a hold of him. Just want to see what he's eating. So it's just I'm just going to pump the throat. So we didn't go right into the stomach, just the throat of the fish, and, the, and now we're going to slide him over, let him go. Just got my throat pump sample here. I put some water in my vial, and uh, just going to squirt it in. Oh yeah, they're definitely eating chronomids, Nick. Yeah, that's that's the grocery store. Oh yeah, they're in here. So that's, uh, oh, they're silvery, olive green. Yeah. But there's a fair number, they're all alive. So we've got a little Fraser Valley strain of rainbow, and we'll just show you that one up close. So that if you're fishing roast, you'll know, be able to recognize two different strains of fish in the lake. So because of the winter kill, the province um, management plan was to stock some catchable sized trout in here just to jump start the fishery from two winters ago. So this is what is known as a Fraser Valley rainbow trout and you can see how heavily spotted it is above and below the lateral line and spots on its perculum as well. So these fish grow really really fast and uh, they're also non-reproductive or sterile. And so those are the two strains, the panace, which we caught earlier, and now the Fraser Valley. Double header, Fred. Uh, Brian's is bigger. <laughs> <laughs> we got a double header. <laughs> hey, this is a nice fish. What's the big Fraser Valley? Look at that. Yeah, I think I got Junior here. And, uh, <laughs> but he's, he's got a good girth on him, that's for sure. <laughs> That's what we wanted to see today. 
Nick, I wanted to show you this guy. All right, I'll just sneak in here and release this guy. First double header. There's nothing wrong with that for oh. last year's stocking. Yeah, that's a... There we go. We're gonna take a quick break. We'll be right back. So I just can't overemphasize, Nick, how we're in five feet of water yeah. and catching fish like all morning long. Little fish and big fish. Yeah, this one's a nice one you got this on here. This is a nice one here. And they've all got to come in to shallow water to feed. They're not out in the middle of the lake in 30 feet of water. Not yeah. yet, they will, but not in the spring. It's all shallow water fishing. What's nice about this, you don't have a 26 foot leader yeah. <laughs> to deal with on a windy day. And you don't have to pull anchors. Mind you, we're not pulling anchors in this boat. No. <laughs> not with the wind system you have on here, so. This is a nice Fraser Valley. See how heavily spotted? Yeah. Spotting heavily out of below and above the lateral line. Do you see uh, other fish often chasing other ones? Oh, yeah. In this lake? I yeah. love that. All right. Now that is a chunk. Yeah. Like, so this was stocked last spring at about this big. And this is how much it's grown in one year, surviving in the lake. So Roche Lake is alive and well. It's, a beautiful. it's always nice to see a lake recover yeah. after a... See the spots, how heavily spotted it is. But that is a pretty fish. And we'll just slide him over. There you go. And he goes right back to the bottom. Yeah, for more food. Little guy. That's okay, we'll use him. So uh, this time oh. of year, we're selling lots of fishing licenses at the shop. Um, you aware of the, the new funding policies with the licensing fees? Yeah, so there was a change in the, in the funding model for the revenue that the Freshwater Fish Society of BC gets. Mm -hmm. It used to get up until uh, April 1 of 2015, it, the society got about 55% of all of license revenue from fishing licenses, freshwater. Now they get 100% of it. Oh, that's so great. It's all 100% dedicated funding to the society who now is able to work with the provincial fisheries biologists to manage and enhance both stocked and wild fish populations in small lakes, large lakes, and inland rivers and steelhead. So it's a win-win. We The money's now dedicated. We know it's not going to general revenue. The, the fisheries biologists are going to get assured to have money to, to do these projects on both wild and uh, stocked fisheries. So it's great news for the angler. Yeah, absolutely. It's nice to know that the money that you, you take in for a license is actually going to yeah. the resource that exactly. you're, you're trying and that's to... that's all we wanted. Yeah. Offer. And that's all the anglers want. Yeah, it did, doesn't willing. get lost in uh, other stuff that's not yeah. necessary. <laughs> and then, you know, when the anglers buy a freshwater fishing license, they also pay a surcharge to the Habitat Conservation Trust Foundation. That surcharge money has not changed. It all goes, that surcharge still all goes to the Habitat Conservation Trust Foundation, mm -hmm. who does further enhancement work on, on fisheries uh, resources in the province. Yeah, it's good to know because we're trying to get younger generations out there to, to fish. Right. And we know that the resource is there and funding's going to that resource. We know that the younger generations or those people who want to just take it up can actually get out there and catch a fish and enjoy themselves. Exactly. That's, what, that's why with this, you know, with this funding model, society is continuing their work on Learn to Fish, teaching since its inception in 2003, the, the society has taught over 150,000 children and parents and caregivers how to fish. Yeah. That's huge, that's, you know, it's a huge investment in the future. Absolutely, so. and uh, that's a great thing and long time coming, that's for sure. Absolutely. <laughs> While we got a break in the action, just gonna explain the equipment that Nick and I are using today. Basically, we're both using 10 foot fly rods for uh, five or six weight floating fly lines, we're using a strike indicator. And because we're only anchored in six feet of water, uh, we're only, we're hanging 
or we're suspending chronomid pupil patterns uh, five feet down or about a foot off the bottom. And uh, we showed you earlier the vial, uh, what they look like. And so now I'll just do a, a close up. We'll show you a few of the patterns that we've been using. It's pretty simple. The whole name of the game is matching the size and color of the real pupa with a pattern that you have in your fly box, right? Yeah, and this is actually one of them. There's one of them right this there. This is the one that you had the big one on. So this is a pattern that we've been using today. It's a silver uh, anti-static bag material body, um, black wire rib and a little uh, silver metal bead. And it imitates pretty closely exactly what's coming off. That was a cookie fish, Nick. It was a cookie. One bite and then yeah. the indicator went. <laughs> well, I'll take great. it. We've had a pretty good few hours on Roche Lake, haven't we? Absolutely. It's been a fun and, day. So it, I hope you've given the viewers a little idea of what's going on at the lake this year. It's definitely back. The fishery is back and there's some quality fish in the lake and lots of new fish coming up through the system. Yeah, healthy fish for sure. Yeah, absolutely. We even had the odd double header today. Yeah. So it's great. I want to thank you for coming on the show today, Nick. It, it was, was great a to, pleasure. Thank you for having me here. Yeah, great to be on the water with you. Yeah. And we're going to net this fish and then um, call it a day. We hope you've enjoyed this episode, learned a little bit about fishing chronomids and uh, what's available in Roche Lake. And we'll see you next week on another episode of Go Fish BC on Shaw TV. In the net. There you go. Beautiful fish. Thank you.